I'm going to give my quick spill in the deal on this whole thing about the media reporting on what's going on in our world, especially when it regards to military operations, threats from various leaders from various countries, possible nuclear war, and etc. and etc. As a former military member, oh my goodness, I would just like to explain, and I would like to say my point on the fact that it doesn't matter which president is in office, really and truly, and here's why. The president does not pass laws. He signs yay or nay on to accept something that has been written by legislators. So any kind of law that a president signs in law is going to have legislators that are both of Republican and Democrats. There's not a single law that was ever passed by totally one party. So for somebody to complain about a specific political party in office causing a law to be passed of any kind whatsoever or an action taken is really truly erroneous again the legislators it goes to the house of representatives and it goes to the senate or vice versa you have to have both sessions of both parties vote on a bill to become law it goes to the president and then he yay or nays it so it's not the president that writes the law he's just the autographer now, when it comes to military things, such as what North Korea is saying, they've gone to the United Nations and they have said that the United States is causing this fiasco by deploying with South Korea visibility of nuclear bomb capable aircrafts, okay, in, you know, their area. And it's just like a show of aggression. And then, of course, they attach the president's name to that action. Here's why that is not accurate for any media to say such things. And there really needs to be a disclaimer requirement. There is not one president in the history of the United States of America that has ever taken any military action by himself. First of all, you have generals that are behind the scenes as his advisors of what's going on. The military is a completely separate force. He will use generals and all of these people, a group of people that goes in and meet with the president and they give advice on things and the president will say yay or nay on taking any particular type of action. Do you think the president or whoever he be, whatever party is, just sits up in the office and just dreams up ideas of things to do and and, and like he's Mr. Hogan's heroes and he's a director and he strategizes. No, those are what the military leaders do. They craft those strategic ideas and then they take it to the president and then he just goes along with whatever they advise him to do. So why is it that the media always puts the president's name in that for money? Look at all these ads. You know how much billions of dollars media have been made to try to say, you know, and why do they exclude the military leaders behind these actions okay and for the record they should also have a disclaimer that such as this here's a disclaimer there are intelligence agencies that may have information that we cannot share that we cannot know that may not even be classified declassified for decades if ever that could be potentially related to why they're doing specific things so please keep that in mind when you read our report of we, we declare is happening. That should be a mandated disclaimer for every media report because here's the thing. Media has effect on whether or not we go to war also, not just the president. In fact, I think they have more effect on whether or not we go to war because people go all over the world and watch the news and, you know, they complain to their leaders. So I just think that it, people need to look behind the scenes and they need to understand how this whole process works and this whole oh this president that or this president this this president that and that is just not accurate conversation at all so i just hope that you will consider taking what i've said in this particular video um to heart when you're reading reports on what's going on and who's causing it to happen and I think that every report should include military leaders behind the scenes. 
who are leading to these actions. And that's my spill of the deal. I hope you have a good one. Bye.